I assume everyone, or at least most people, have been in a car at least once in their life. But how many of you have spent 30 days in a car with your best friend? Well, I have. This is the story of two guys who took 30 days to visit Oregon and lived in the back of a car. So, me and my best friend Chance. I've known Chance for about six years now, and we're pretty much inseparable. And this last summer, we were sitting at work, and we looked at each other at the same time, and we're like, we need to do a road trip. Like, kid you not, looked at, at, looked at each other at the exact same time, and we're like, we need to do a road trip. And so, from then on, we started planning it. Like, where do we want to go? We toyed around with Vancouver, Seattle, and finally decided on Portland. Portland, I don't know why, but we wanted to get donuts. So, um, so we began planning our road trip between lunch sessions at work and late nights at his house or mine playing video games. And we settled on a plan. We were going to take Interstate 5 from my home in Santa Paula, California, all the way up to Weed, California. That's about nine and a half hour drive. I, d I don't know the mileage, but it took forever. It felt like forever. We decided to leave around seven o'clock at night so we could drive through the night so when we were actually tired of driving, it wasn't dark out and we could sleep during the early morning. So we took the I-5 up to Weed, to the 97. 97 leads up to Redding and um, stuff like that. And so in Weed, we got pulled over and I was kind of freaking out. Don't know why. Never been pulled over before in my life. And the cops comes up to the window, taps on the window, and says, hey, you know your license plate lights out. And I was like, no. He's like, well, I'm going to have to write you a ticket. And I was like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, okay, why is he going to write me a ticket? It's license plate light. So he goes back to his car. All right, I handed my license and registration. Ended up handing him expired registration. Comes back to the car to tell me that, and then goes to his cop car. He seemed really frustrated, and I was scared. I was like, I'm going to get a ticket. I'm, I'm not home. Like, it's the first night of the road trip. I'm scared. He comes back laughing. Turns out he knew my dad from when my parents used to live up north, and my dad was a firefighter. He checked my license and saw the firefighter sticker on the back of my car. Ended up letting me go, and I told my dad about it. My dad's like, I knew him 30 years ago. And super funny story. Anyway, we get out of Weed, start heading to Reading, and find a Walmart parking lot. Fun fact, Walmart lets people sleep in their parking lots for free overnight. Um, continued on in the morning into Crater Lake. I don't know if anyone's been to Crater Lake. One of, by far, the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Beautiful. Um, after that first long night of driving, we were pretty exhausted, so we strung up our hammocks in the National Park and took one of the better naps of my life. Um, from Crater Lake, we went on to Bend, visited the last blockbuster um, in existence. That was pretty cool. And tried my first Dutch Bros coffee. Still addicted. Um, from Bend, Oregon, we went on to Sisters. And outside of Sisters, there's, um, I can't tell you the exact name. It's a little weird. But basically, it's known as the Blue Pools. And it's the most crystal clear blue water I've ever seen. It's about 300 feet deep. You can look straight to the bottom. It's crazy. Um, from Sisters, we moved on to the coast and went, um, or we went up to Portland first and then went over to the coast. And that's where I experienced Newport, Coos Bay, and Gold's Beach. I don't know if you've seen the beaches in Oregon. They're not like the beaches in California. Completely different. Beautiful rocks, beautiful skipping stones all over the beaches. Awesome place. And then from there, we took the 101 home. And that is the story of two guys who took 30 days, lived out at the back of a Yukon, and consumed endless amounts of Monster, Yerba Mate, coffee, and lived on a lack of sleep. <laughs>